can be polished. Whereas sandstone can't, you can never get a polish on sandstone. Hi Peter, thank you for welcoming us in the studio in this amazing place and helping us discovering uh, your work here in La Roque Tambour. You're very welcome. We think of it as a magic little place as well. Definitely. Um, well, obviously you're English. Yeah. And may I ask you how you got to be an artist uh, living here in La Roque Tambour? I came uh, to La Roque Tambour because I fell in love with France many years ago. I can't explain why, but we decided that this was where we would like mm. to live. So that was because of magic and it just yes, happened? absolutely. But how did you get involved in the community, get to know people? At first it was difficult mm. because I was a complete beginner mm. at French. But our local community were very welcoming. Somebody introduced me to Gertrude Schoen, whose museum is here in La Roque. Mm -hmm. And she invited herself mm -hmm. into my studio. <laughs> okay. uh, that says something about Gertrude <laughs> rather than me. And she went back, talked to the people who were running the museum without asking me, yeah. and made them organize an exhibition of my work mm. to introduce me to the community. And I have recently completely reorganise the collection. I've tried to tell a story mm -hmm. about Gertrude's work, mm. tried to make something entertaining mm. for people who, who come to, to view it. Mm. Yeah. You've also worked and you like to respect the cultural heritage around here oh, and yeah, you're passionate absolutely. about it. Well I am, yes, it's, uh, but uh, you know I try not to be too forceful in mm. what I say to <laughs> people true. about it. <laughs> I've always, part of my life has always had a connection with conservation work. Mm -hmm. La Roque is, is a bit of a hidden jewel because mm. it's got everything. There are lots and lots of details to look at. If you can let the mm. stones tell the story. And so I walk round and I can see where the old castle walls must have been. Mm. I can see the gateway to the road to Hautefage mm. because the stonework there is completely different from the neighbouring properties mm -hmm. and you can set, get a, a sense of it, you can mm. get a feel of it. You can quickly get down into the valley and it's a little quiet valley where the railway line goes mm. and along that valley there are a small number of Romanesque churches. Yeah. Now that tells a story, not a written story, yeah. but it tells a story about what was like, mm. life was like mm. in the 12th century here. Could you give us, as a little secret between us, your, en français, we would say coup de coeur, <laughs> your, your little favourite places? There are little hill villages mm. all over the place, mm. including nearby at mm. Pujol, but there are others, Penn and, and, mm. and Tournon. And, and all these places on the hills with good views. Mm. You know, you go to Pujol, what have you got? You've got a lovely view down into Villeneuve. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can see where the, where the Pujol gate is and the mm. gate to Paris and all this yeah. sort of thing from the top. Have you ever been into Hortefage Tower since it's been not, completely renovated no, and since, open to no. the public? It's been um, covered in scaffolding for quite a long for time. For a while, yes, and now it's open and open to no, the I public must go in. to I pick must up. Go in. It's yeah. Anyone can pick yeah. up the keys at the Mary yeah. and then you just drop off the keys after your visit. Mm. The, the, the La Halle, the covered market, was on the left. You can still see the wooden work yes, that yes. was part of the, the island. I mean, yeah. There's no comparison in date, but you know the, the actual flowing design of that repeated. 
You often find bits of graffiti in, mm. in, a, in old buildings. Well, if I understood right as well, uh, I think you made quite a few discoveries in your house. I was just using my knuckles, tapping the wall, thinking, hmm, there's something here, mm. there's something Hollow. behind yeah. here. And I then discovered this amazing fireplace. Mm. And then next to it, I discovered this lovely stone cupboard next to it, which was probably a, a salt cupboard mm. or a, a spice cupboard or mm. some, something. Should we this call you the, the stone whisperer? <laughs> because did the stone talk to you so you could find this hidden chimney behind yeah, there? Yeah, I think it, it's, it's about observation. You, you, you've worked as a tour guide. Yeah. I've taken special tours around historic yes. buildings yeah. in England and I tell people to let the stones tell the story. Mm -hmm. This is a flint. What's that? It's a piece is that, of flint. Is that, is that a, a stone? It's a stone, yeah. Right. You know, a Stone Age man used to break the flint to, to create sharp edges for mm. weapons. Okay. I don't want you to drop that on the no, floor because no, no, no. I quite value oh, it. But if I you want. did, it would break. <laughs> you would have a sharp bit. I want to get tried.